Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to embed an image in Illustrator. And I will also be talking about the difference between a linked image and an embedded image in Adobe Illustrator. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right, guys, before jumping into the step to embed an image in Illustrator, I think you should know what is an embedded image in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so when you embed an image in Illustrator, it means that uh, you are saving the image in the Illustrator document file instead of on your computer, which brings up the concept of what is a linked image. A linked image means that the image is saved somewhere on your device, not in Illustrator file. So when you embed an image, you will be able to open the same Illustrator file and you will still be able to see the image in that file because it's embedded. However, if you have a linked image, when you transfer your file on other devices or someone else is opening the same Illustrator file, it's going to show a missing link instead because a linked image is linked to the image where it's located on your device. So another difference is that a linked image is much smaller than an, an embedded image. Uh, so if you have a lot of images that you're working on in Illustrator, and if you embed them all, it's probably going to slow down your um, program sometimes, depending on the computer you have as well. I would recommend uh, embedding the image at the end if you are working on a big project or something like that. I know it can sound a little bit confusing. That's why I'm going to show you two examples here. All right, so let me show you how to embed an image in Illustrator. There are different ways to open an image in Illustrator. You can uh, go to File, Place, which is the most, let's say, the correct way. And you can find an image on your device. Let's go to Download. And let's say I'm going to um, embed this image that I created for my YouTube channel. And here, as you can see, when it's a link image, I'm going to show you how it looks. So I'm going to click place and yeah, that's a trick. If you don't want the image to be full screen, you can click and drag the area where you want the image to be. And there you go. This is a linked image because you have the link selected. And now let's see another example. Uh, I'm going to place again, same image, and I'm going to uncheck the link option and I'm going to click place again and click and drag. Well, a little bit smaller is okay. So here you can see a difference. If I select both images, you can see that the first image it has kind of a cross line uh, on top of the image, which means this image is not embedded. So if you click on the image and you will see under quick actions shows an option to embed. So that's how you can embed an image, by the way or here um, on the control panel as well. However, if you click on the second image where I uncheck the link, you will see that the option changed to unembed since it's already embedded. So I guess you already know how to embed an image, right? So basically all you need to do is select the image and click embed. Well, either on the control panel or under the properties panel. And another way to embed an image is by going to the links panel. So you can open the link panel from window links and here is very obvious which image is linked from the links panel you can see whether an image is a linked image or an embedded image so when an image is not embedded it's going to show a linked icon there which says linked which makes sense and you can also uh, select the linked image here and click on the hidden menu and choose embed image or if you have multiple images it will be embed images and that's it. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you want to follow a step-by-step -step guide on how to embed an image in Illustrator, I do have a tutorial on my blog as well. So you can find the link in the description below if you're interested. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.